Bill Murray as a talking bear. Sign me up. The Jungle Book is a remake of the 60s classic The Jungle Book, which is an animated movie by Disney based on the work of Rudyard Kipling titled The Jungle Book. Not to be confused with The Jungle Book by Upton Sinclair, that's a whole different story. Enjoy your lunch meat. There have been other live action attempts at The Jungle Book like this 1990s version starring a dude who played Bruce Lee in a movie. What's up with the 90s and shirtless dudes in the jungle? That was a thing, I guess. And there will be future iterations like the one directed by Andy Serkis, which will feature all motion capture performances. Neil Seti plays the young boy or man cub, Mowgli. He's been raised by wolves in the jungle. And Ben Kingsley plays Bagheera, a panther who is training him to run with the pack of wolves so he doesn't end up being someone's lunch. There's a truce among all the animals. They agree to disagree, but they also agree not to eat each other. But Shere Khan, the tiger, voiced by Idris Elba, is like, after this truce is over, man, that man cub, Mowgli, I'm gonna kill that guy. Because I do not like people. I am not a people person, Tiger. He says, people are bad, look what happened to my face. He was hurt by a human and doesn't want humans around. So he's like, I'm gonna kill you wolves unless you hand over that boy. Mowgli's all, I'm gonna leave the pack. I'm just causing trouble, I don't wanna make any waves. So Bagheera helps try to guide Mowgli to safety to bring him to the man village. Along the way, Mowgli runs into all different kinds of animals. Neil Seti, as Mowgli, does a great job. He's an excellent young actor. He's got a bright future ahead of him. He's gonna have stardom. There's no possible way he is gonna grow up well-adjusted. Sorry. Disney sacrifices a kid like every five years for their profits. Amazing standout performances by Bill Murray as Baloo the bear. He's so great. For me, as good as Bill Murray was, Christopher Walken steals the show as the giant orangutan King Louie. Movies directed by John Favreau, he directed Elf, he directed Iron Man, he directed Chef, those are all great movies. This movie's phenomenally well done. The effects are superbly immersive. You feel like you're running through the jungle. The visuals are absolutely stunning. It's completely CG, except for Neil Seti, the boy. The whole movie was shot in downtown Los Angeles on a soundstage, but you would never know by watching this film. One of the things I didn't like so much about the movie, this is more of a nitpick, because it was great. There are two musical numbers, and it's a little uncharacteristic of how the tone of the movie is set. It's a bit of a tonal shift, but in the end, I enjoyed it. A couple interesting themes in this movie that stood out to me are what separates the human animal from the non-human animal? Fire, language, tools. Just because we can do something, should we do that thing? Maybe. Maybe not, Disney. Do it! The movie offers a lot. Definitely see it in 3D. You can come out of this movie saying, has mankind transcended all other beings in the animal kingdom through his mastery of tools and outgrown his metaphorical childhood to thereby become destroyer of worlds with the tragic Promethean power of fire? Or you could be like, I like when animals talk. It's got something for everybody. So I give this movie four and a half froze out of five. Bill Murray gets a fro. Christopher Walken gets a fro. Neil Steady gets his own fro. John Favreau gets a fro. And I'm just gonna throw half a fro in there for Idris Elbo. I won't be surprised if it gets nominated for a Best Picture Oscar, because it is a fantastic feat of filmmaking. I definitely recommend it. One of the few movies that is worthwhile to see in 3D. Did you see Jungle Book? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to know how you can help preserve the rainforests, click the icon of my face at the end of this video. Click the card, or look for a link in the description below. Remember, I've got other reviews on my channel, so you can check those out here. Thank you all for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. I love movies. I've been Aristotle Full Throttle, and I'll see you later. I like when animals talk. People are upset that Superman killed Zod, and I just watched Superman 2 again with Christopher Reeve, and he straight up murders Zod.